Thank you very much, everybody. Please. Interestingly, when numbers are actually going down, you look at Florida, the state of Florida, did a great job. You look at Georgia, you look at others, they're open, and some are doing extremely well, far beyond what people thought. Uh, our best information is that all 50 states, as of today, are partially reopening their economies. And the American people are responding and breathing that uh, free air again. They're doing it responsibly. Uh, they're, they're enjoying uh, the opportunity to be out. Now, there was a false study done where they gave it to very sick people, extremely sick people, people that were ready to die. It was given by, obviously, not friends of the administration. And the study came out. The people were ready to die. Uh, everybody was old, had bad problems with hearts, diabetes, and everything else you can imagine. Uh, Italy, France, Spain, ourselves, many, many doxes, doctors. Many doctors came out and they said, uh, it's great. Now, you have to go to a doctor. I have a doctor in the White House. I said, what do you think? And it's just a line of defense. I'm just talking about as a line of defense. I'm dealing with a lot of people. Look at all the people in the room. You know, I'm the president, and I'm dealing with a lot of people. Hydroxychloroquine is used by thousands and thousands of frontline workers so that hopefully they don't catch this horrible disease or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it is uh, a terrible virus. It's a terrible thing. And a lot of people are taking it. A lot of doctors are taking it. A lot of people swear by it. It's gotten a, a bad reputation only because I'm promoting it. So I'm obviously a very bad promoter. If anybody else were promoting it, they'd say, this is the greatest thing ever. But because of me. They have, you have Norway, Denmark, Finland, Sweden, that little group of beautiful countries. Well, Sweden took a little different attitude, but Sweden has far more deaths than the other three. You know that, right? Do you know that? Yeah, a lot more death. Uh, many times the deaths. But they did it a different way, and, and you know, I understand that too. And, and as uh, Mike said very well before, there is death on both sides. There's death on both sides. There's death in staying in a shutdown also. ...to do that. The right mindset for reopening is not about balancing health versus the economy. It's actually about balancing health versus health. Um, by one estimate, the virus-induced recession will see an extra 65,000 deaths from suicide, drug overdose, alcohol abuse in the coming years, possibly even more. States are seeing a decline in the reporting of child maltreatment uh, because kids aren't at school. They're not seeing doctors and teachers who would otherwise report maltreatment in the home environment, and so it goes unaddressed.